Good morning. Day 249. Cooking down the refrigerator, freezer, and working pantry meals. So today is going to be a beautiful 79 degrees here in beautiful Ohio. This is a beautiful state in some areas. We have flat areas and we have um, lots of trees and woods. We have the emerald necklace. We have Lake Erie. So it's a pleasant place to live. The winters can be a little brutal and the summers can get really hot, but not this summer. This summer was very, very pleasant. Mostly sunny and in the low 80s, just perfect. So I was thinking I have to start working on the outside fencing a little bit since we're approaching September soon. And to me, I know half of September is still summer, but to me, once September rolls in, I start thinking fall. So then I'll have a smaller window of opportunity to get things done in the garden that I need to get done, like putting up that new fencing. But I'm still waiting for the tree guy, and um, we'll see when he shows up. I think he'll show up eventually. So I'm not sure what's on the agenda for today. Yesterday I wasn't home for a good part of the day because my daughter called me and told me her poor little chicken's sick. And apparently the chicken's having a hard time standing up. She's, she's just a baby. I mean, not a tiny chick, but she's just a really young chicken. They don't even lay eggs yet. Um, and she's having a hard time standing up. So my daughter did some research, and there is a, a chicken disease that can cause that, but there's also a vitamin B deficiency that causes that, where it causes their legs and their feet uh, to become uh, paralyzed. So she can still stand up a tiny bit, but, you know, it's going to get worse. So my daughter went and got a whole bunch of medications. Um, she's got her isolated in a little place, and, uh, of course, she has to keep her clean. She's eating and drinking, which is a good good sign. So I'm sure this is everything you never wanted to know about chickens, but she was so sweet. You know, we gave her a little bath because her back feathers were a little soiled, so we got her cleaned up and gave her medicine. So I held the chicken while my daughter did some of the other things. And uh, I've never bonded with a chicken, but... Um, they're really sweet, so at least this one is. And her name is Sunny. She's a white and gray. I don't know if she's an Americana, but my daughter said they paid more for her, that she was an expensive chicken. And then they have the same variety in black, and it's uh, Sunny and Stormy. So one of these days I'll take a video of her chickens, but... It made me realize that chickens are a lot of work. So I won't be getting chickens anytime soon. But anyway, um, so I will only be eating faux chicken because chickens are my friends. <laughs> I know. Too much, right? Okay, well, I'll be back in a little while with um, what's for breakfast. And we'll see what's in the fridge. Okay, I think this cabinet needs to be decluttered. Now, I decluttered this mm, maybe a year ago. It's been a little longer, a year and a half ago maybe. And it's morphed into something really ugly. So, I think my work is cut out for me. I just have too many pots and pans. 
And I don't use the really nice stuff that I have, like these casserole dishes, because there's a bunch of junk piled on there. So I'm going to try and get this decluttered before Tuesday, because that's when the donation people are coming. All right, I will be back, and we'll see if I make any progress. I've decided, rather than pull out everything in this cupboard, that I'm just going to declutter one half at a time. So I'll do this half, and then I'll do this half, or vice versa. That way, if it takes me a couple days, it'll be okay, and I won't have too much stuff hanging around in my kitchen. Okay, both sides of the cabinet are all decluttered. Much better. Now I can slide everything out. These are sliders so I can get to the things in back. Same over here. Um, I had some really nice bakeware and I kept using the ugly stuff. So the ugly stuff is going, I mean not really ugly but plain. So, um, I got, I'm getting rid of those, and then I want to use the nicer things here. So, back there I have some, um, like a ricer and all that stuff, and little serving dishes. I'm selling a lot of my uh, white serving dishes on Facebook Marketplace since they're kind of a hot commodity now because they're just too heavy for me and I just kept a couple of smaller pieces because I want to use this bakeware so I have all my salad spinners I have um, a couple of them because they're different sizes so when I make a bigger salad I drag out the bigger one and then they get progressively smaller so I'm happy with that. And it took more than 15 minutes. It took about an hour. But that's not too bad. So I've got a few things going to donation and I've got a couple of things up on Facebook Marketplace. So I'll show you what I have on Marketplace. So these things are going on Marketplace. I'm selling these two and then I haven't put these up yet but like I said I want to use my nicer serving pieces and I can put potato salad or whatever in the ceramic ones too so um, over here I also decluttered this cabinet a little bit these are where I use my main cooking pans so I do use these and then here is the other thing I'm putting on Marketplace. So I'm going to sell all these pieces. And I'll probably try putting them on there for $50. They're in pristine shape. They're, they're, in, they're like new. But I really don't use those. I have a couple of ovals this size that I can use instead like if I make a spinach dip or something. This big oval is too big. I have a couple smaller ones that I'm keeping. And the same way with the souffle thing back there, I have one with a lid that I'm keeping. So these are going to go up on Marketplace. And we'll see if I can get them sold. All right, so there is my daily declutter. I'm going to have a little breakfast now and go check out what's going on outside. Okay, let's see what's for lunch. Uh, it's afternoon, so I haven't had anything to eat yet. So let's see what's in the refrigerator for, for today. I was too busy decluttering. So up here I still have bread still have some of my avocado dressing. I've got 
a used Cre uh, Greek yogurt and a new one in the back. Some grapes. These are pepitas. This is my grandson's. And I've got two biscuits. Got some boiled eggs, cheeses in there, and my fake and bacon is in there. So I'll probably have some of that. And I think this morning I'm going to fry it with a little soy sauce and maple syrup. Crisp it up a little bit on the outside. It's nice and chewy. Um, I have eggs yet. I chopped up my last head of romaine because it was starting to turn. I still have plenty of coleslaw. I have plenty of my coba beans. This is from my garden. It'll go with my salad. I still have tomato from yesterday and uh, some lentil soup left. Let's see what's in the produce drawer. My grandson bought himself some lettuce. I still have peppers, celery, and carrots left. The romaine is gone, and my grandson bought himself some apples. And of course, I can eat them too, but he bought those. So that's what's in the fridge. I'll be eating something for dinner from here. And I'm going to get some bread. And I already got the fake and bacon. So I'll eat some of this tomato with it. And I'll probably just have another TLT. So I'll get some of this mayo. This actually lasts a long time. You can see how much is left in there, I think, like down here. But for $1.25, and mayonnaise is crazy now, like everything. So that's what's in my fridge. Um, I have lots of condiments, of course. You guys have seen all that. I'm not going to go over all that. Lots and lots of condiments to cook with. Creamer I have, uh, jellies, Parmesan and Romano cheese. So I have lots and lots of food. Okay, um, I will meet you at the stove. Okay, well here we are. And since I had it out, I figured I might as well use one of my dishes. So in here I, I have uh, about a teaspoon of smoked paprika. There's really no recipe here. And I really want to use this up. Um, I don't think this is real, real bacon-y. Um, it's, it's okay, but I don't think I'd repurchase it. But anyway, uh, I mixed about a teaspoon of this too some toast here and now I'm going to add some soy sauce and I'm just going to make a little bit of a marinade for my um, bacon pieces that I made yesterday I want to um, cook them in a pan and caramelize it a little bit make it a little more interesting. A little bit of pure maple syrup. And then I'm just going to give it a taste and see what else it needs. Now I don't want to soak this in there. I'll leave it in there for a little bit, maybe a half hour, because I don't want to rehydrate the uh, tofu. And I don't know if it would rehydrate Right now, it's almost the texture of a jerky. So it, it's nice, and it's smoky. But it just needs a little bit of caramelizing, in my opinion. All right, let me try that. Okay. 
I think that'll be good. So this is what I have left of the tofu that I made yesterday. And yeah, it just fits the tofu. Maybe I should keep one of these square ones. Well, we'll see. We'll see if they sell or not. Well, I'll wait with these pieces. Okay, I'm going to let this marinate a little bit. And then I'm also going to eat some of my coleslaw. I'm really enjoying that coleslaw. So I'll be back when I'm getting ready to cook these. So I'm finding the more I declutter, the more I dig out my pretty things, like this olive oil bottle. Um, so that's part of the reason why I'm decluttering. Okay, well I'm cooking up this fake and bacon in uh, a little bit of olive oil, and it's looking pretty good. So we'll see what it tastes like when it's done frying. Okay, I want to take some of this marinade and just brush it over. You can do this as many times as you want, just to give it a more uh, intense flavor. Now I have this on medium-low because I don't want to burn it, I want it to caramelize. Oh, and it's looking good. All right, I'll be back. This is too loud. Okay, well, there it is. Now, if you put this on a paper towel, be careful that it doesn't stick to it because it does have the, um, the maple syrup in it. So let's give this a taste before we put it on the sandwich and see if it's any good. This is what it looks like. It looks really good. That's really tasty. It's chewy. It's sweet. It's salty. This will definitely do as a substitute for bacon. Does it taste exactly like bacon? No. But it's a pretty close substitute. From now on, I will make my tofu bacon this way. All right. Yummy. Takes a little bit of work. Well, not really work, but time to dehydrate it, then let it cool, and then marinate it. But I didn't let it marinate long, maybe 15, 20 minutes. So, okay, that is really, really tasty. In my opinion, it's every bit as good as the um, store-bought kind, if not better. And it's healthier. I mean, it's just tofu and uh, a rub. Tofu and spices. So, okay. Mmm, yum. This would be good um, cut up on a salad, too. Really good. All right. I'm going to put some of my homemade, homegrown tomato on here.
salt and pepper. I used to like BLTs, and now I like TLTs. Okay. And I cut up the romaine, so I'm just going to use it this way. Because I'm probably going to eat the rest as a salad, either today or tomorrow. Because I still have some other salad fixings, and hopefully there'll be a cucumber ready in my garden by tomorrow. And here is my homemade coleslaw. All right. There you have it, a homemade TLT. Use up your tofu with it. Homemade coleslaw. Yum. I'm hungry. It's 1.30. All right. I'm going to eat my lunch and okay, I'll be Okay, well here is today's harvest. I got a nice serving of green beans, a bunch of tomatoes, <coughs> chard and kale, and that is plenty for several meals. All right, I'm happy. Okay, well... I don't know, that's looking pretty dark, isn't it? Let's see. I don't know. <laughs> oh well, hang on. There, I guess that's better. I don't know. Anyway, um, I got my cupboard decluttered. <laughs> you again? you again. So I don't even know if I'm going to eat dinner tonight. Wow, you look like you have a really huge head. <laughs> he looks like he's like very big. Anyway, um, I don't even know if I'm going to eat dinner today because I'm just not hungry. Uh, I ate late lunch and uh, sometimes one meal is all that I need. So if I do decide to eat something, I'll probably have a little bit more of that soup. Uh, I still have that and coleslaw, and I don't even feel like having a sandwich. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Anyway, I wanted to talk a little bit about this. Yesterday I went to Tractor Supply with my daughter so she could get her uh, chicken some medicine. And they had this book there. It was uh, $16.99, which isn't cheap, but I've been wanting a book like this for quite a while. And it's Backyard Medicine. And it's uh, Harvest and Make Your Own Herbal Remedies. So this is um, like wild flower harvesting. So... Um, it's got things in there like comfrey, dandelion, honeysuckle, vervain, in case the vampires uh, want to get you, and yarrow. So it's a really nice book. And um, it's got different pictures of what the... They're playing. Different pictures of the plant, what, what it's good for. Um, so these are all wild edibles. So I picked that up, and um, I don't know, I thought it'd be good to learn some herbal medicine. So I went out in the backyard, and I sort of made a plan of how I'm going to set up my fencing back there. Um, right now, everything is like in retrograde. You know, I don't know what's going on with the tree. I don't know how much stuff I'm going to have to move out of the way because my, well, you've seen my backyard. It's pretty compact. 
So I'm just going with the declutter for now. At least I'm getting something done. Um, so anyway, um, not a whole lot more going on than that today. Um, the, the fake and bacon was really good. I'll do that again. So anyway, I just wanted to tell you about the book. I wanted to tell you about my garden plans. And uh, that's about all I have for you today. So I want to wish you abundant blessings. I love you guys. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. God bless you. And we'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. Thanks for watching.